My name is Anne Marie. I've been married for 23 years now to my husband, Kevin. We have three daughters, Kellyanne, she's 18, Emily, 16, and Victoria, 15. Um, probably my early 20s is when I recognized that there was a real problem with the fear I had with just trying to use a tampon. And also I would not allow anything in the vicinity of my, vag my vaginal area. I really could not put a name to it or even know what the problem really was, just that I had a great fear. My mother never really explained to me about a tampon. The only thing she said was that I wasn't to use one until after I was married. So I just never thought about it. Um, I was also told not to have sex until after I was married. So I just figured after I got married, the fear would just go away, magically disappear. In the back of my head though, I kind of thought there was an issue, but I just wasn't sure. I really didn't know who to talk to about it because in all my conversations with family, friends, or coworkers, I've never heard anyone say they were afraid of tampons, sex, any of that. So it was, it just wasn't, I just didn't know what, who to talk to. Um, so when I got engaged, um, I thought I probably should make an appointment to the gynecologist and see if at least I can have an exam. And well, no way that was happening. So they had me make another appointment to go back, but they were going to prescribe me some anxiety meds for me to take before the appointment and that did not help at all. Um, so they still were not able to do the exam. Um, I left there extremely discouraged and emotionally frustrated. Um, I made an appointment to another gynecologist to talk to them about the fear of having an exam having sex, using a tampon, and the, the gynecologist I spoke with at that point really didn't know what to tell me. Um, but she told me I should go see a sex therapist and gave me um, a couple of names to call. So I did that and I went to see a woman. She was very nice. We talked about, you know, just life issues. And my husband came as well. Thank God he was patient through all of this. Um, this was the first time I was actually introduced to the name vaginismus. I was able to actually put a name to it. Um, so, uh, you know, at least now I knew, okay, it is called something. Um, I never heard of it uh, before. So she told me, I want you to go and get some dilators and start using them. Well, if I can't use a tampon, there's no way I was going to go home and use dilators. So Anyway, I went back and did not, that didn't work. So you can only imagine how that went, not good. So um, I pretty much gave up hope by now. I always knew I wanted children, but I lost hope. So thank God my husband, extremely patient with me and did not ever lose hope for us. He did know that I needed to find someone to help me through this. He knew this fear was holding me back, not just on this issue, but because of the issue, my confidence and self-esteem in myself was very low. So we, he started searching online and said he found the Women's Therapy Center. And it seemed as though they deal with this very issue and from what he read, they would be able to cure me. He asked if I wanted to give it a try. I said, of course, and I'll try anything. But um, I was extremely leery because I just thought this is just not, I don't know, this is just me, this is not gonna work. So um, I, we made an appointment and thank God they were on Long Island. We lived on Long Island at the time. Um, my husband and I went together the first visit and we just talked and they explained what we would be doing. And I have to be honest, I was like, this is not going to work for me. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm the only one and this is isolated. So I just didn't have the confidence in myself that I was actually going to go through all the exercises and complete it. Vaginismus makes you feel as if you are broken. Needless to say, when I was able to finally put a tampon in myself, I was on cloud nine. Actually, when they put it in for the first time, I was on cloud nine. I was very excited. I, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I ju just remember thinking, I remember thinking to myself, that's it. That's all, you know, I, I didn't know what I was so afraid of, but it was holding me back in so many different ways. 
I feel like for me, once I knew, I knew something could actually go in that little area and didn't hurt, I was able to do the rest much easier. And I knew I could get through this whole, you know, class of getting through vaginismus. Um, from that point, from that appointment, my husband and I, um, we had gone, finally, after we had sex, we had gone, gone to a gynecology appointment and had my first exam and was able to do it. And we decided to go celebrate and went away to Saratoga. And that's when I got pregnant with my first daughter. So it was so exciting. Um, so I can't tell you how happy and how forever grateful I am. I am for Deesa and Ross and that my husband found them because they are and God sent to me. Um, they are my angels. Um, so I really wish that all gynecologists knew more about this issue to send their patients directly to the Women's Therapy Center instead of wasting so much time. I wasted so much time going to different places, not knowing who to talk to, giving up, which took a lot of time. Um, but needless to say, so now fast forward 18 years, uh, my middle daughter, um, she's 16, and I noticed she has developed the same fear that I once had. I know this because of the things she says to me about using a tampon and never wanting to have sex ever. She also did try once to use a tampon and fainted. So I knew that feeling because it almost happened to me, but. Um, I knew enough to just stop. Um, she sounded like me all those years ago. So the good thing for me is that I know Dita and Ross can help. So right away, I called them and um, contacted them this past summer. And she said, and Ross said, yes, we can definitely help her use a tampon, whatever else she needs, she feels like she needs. So this past summer with her busy, crazy, with their busy, crazy schedule, they fit my daughter, Emily, in as often as she needed. And I cannot tell you how confident she, she is. Mm -hmm. She's such a different person after this whole summer. It's, it's so wonderful. I'm so happy for her. I'm so glad it didn't take her as long as it took me. Um, the fears she had in the past has kind of gone away since she was able to get over this fear. It sounds crazy, but that feeling of not being normal really holds you back and keeps your self-esteem extremely low. Is a freeing feeling like a weight has been lifted after having vaginismus. So thank you, Dita and Ross, for this amazing talent that you both have. <laughs>